Welcome back. We've taken the gearbox out and had a wee squiz. And we'll go through what's in there. Quickly spring. Uh, probably M120. Um, given where these guns generally come from, 400, 420 FPS probably. Uh, bug it up, I know you can change that. Uh, spring guide. Got some 8mm bearings. Gears, that's a look out for. So I've got a aluminium nozzle, it's M60 length. Uh, not Aries M60, it'll be the ANK M60 length. Has an O ring inside, I'm not sure if that'll pick it up. Aluminium cylinder head, full cylinder, piston with metal teeth, and an aluminium piston head. Compression's uh, pretty good. It's not quite going to keep it in there with gravity though. With the nozzle on there, still pretty good. Probably a little bit worse with the nozzle on there. No attempt to uh, correct the angle of engagement so they've obviously just said fuck it and throw on steel teeth on it to go with the gears so one or the other will eventually break rather than just stripping a piston big old delaying gear on here all these gears are branded LCT I'm just going to assume that they're just standard uh, ratio gears all looks pretty standard, it's a short type motor uh, it'll be interesting to see if that's actually just a regular AK short type or if it's like the ANK series guns where it's extra short and you can't fucking find replacements for them lots of goopy grease pull that motor out because of the typical uh, problems with these micro switches of them burning out, LCT have put in this uh, connection into the MOSFET, which I think is just literally uh, a simple one to stop a micro switch A burning out and B bouncing if you start doing some rapid trigger pulls. Put that gear back in. Very stiff going into those axle holes. That looks a bit suspicious. This shape looks very, very similar to the connection point on an ANK PKM gearbox, where that has three pins coming out which connect to the uh, wiring and the linkage to the box magazine motor. Let's take a look at these gears here, see how the shimming is. I think that's um, pretty tight. They, they are not going to move. May, maybe a bit too stiff. Yeah, they're not going to spin freely. Oh, yeah, that's very, very tight. Engine in there. That looks like a version 2-ish tapper plate. cylinder head that comparing to what I've already got it looks like a version 2 or 3 standard one uh, I've competed against a G3 and a AK so probably the same nothing special inside uh, no real shock dampening it's just a flat cylinder head ventilated piston head um, yeah the air seals alright I don't really have any immediate reason to remove it other than obviously it'll slow down your rate of fire same with the metal teeth, uh, which will be the next step to actually correct that angle of engagement. So, gearbox, it's not going to break straight away, but it's not what I'd call amazing. I'm sure the parts are good, but not how I do things. But then again, I don't make guns. I just use them and break them.
let's take a look at the hop up. So this is this pretty standard LCT LMG type of hop up. It's in the M60. Uh, so it's held into the barrel with grub screws through the outer barrel in here and here. Uh, and it has a vertical nub into the hot rubber, which is not the best way to do it. It's all held together by this O-ring. Alright, and here we have a little blighter. So this is your nub. No one else does it that way, for good reason. That is a hard piece of rubber pushing directly down. Here we have the dismantled hop-up unit. Pretty standard rubber, just a little round nub, you sort of typical Marui standard. This one's in black. Feels rubbery. This is your adjustment wheel, kind of like a G36. As you spin it, it increases the thickness and that therefore puts more pressure onto the nub. This is your nub. It's a little vertical piece of shit. Comes through here. You just push it down on it. So you're not going to fit any fucking nice little regular nubs in there. The barrel, hard to tell. Probably 6.03 at a guess. One thing about those LCT hop-ups, someone made a better version. This is a Bull Gear CNC hop-up unit for the M60 and PKM. These Bull Gear hop-ups uh, have a slightly revised method of adjusting the hop with a lever, which allows you to use any kind of regular nub. Who would have thought? Unfortunately, they aren't quite the same dimensions. This point here sits on the, a stopper inside the outer barrel, which means if you put this one in, it's going to stop there, meaning this bit will then stick further into your gearbox cavity and not actually let your gearbox in. So you have to cut off about five or six millimeters 